what is up YouTube, Demon Sparks here, and today I want to do a quick little overview tutorial video on how to use an Xbox hard drive. This is from an Xbox 360, um, the original, or one that had the ex external hard drives or whatever. This is a 20 gig hard drive, and what you want to do, of course, first is remove all the screws and just take this apart. If I can do it with one hand, I will try. Oh no, I broke it. No, I'm joking. So here we have the uh, actual mechanical hard drive in the uh, tray, which I can't really see that well because I'm looking through the camera. But you also want to remove these screws, which I will do. And um, this video will be spliced over um, different segments since I cannot pause on this phone's camera because it's retarded. So I will go ahead and remove these screws and splice in the rest of the parts of this video um, coming up in about a few seconds. Hey, what is up YouTube, and welcome back to the other uh, segment of the video. So I found myself a uh, screwdriver to remove these uh, retarded little screws. Um, they're star keys. Uh, you can also use a Torx, but I found this uh, flathead that I had uh, bent. And, yeah. So this fit perfectly into the uh, screws. So let me go ahead and remove this last one and get the uh, tray off. Uh, here we have the mechanical hard drive, which is a uh, laptop hard drive, laptop sized one. Try this with uh, one hand, but I can't seem to do it, so I'm gonna have to put my phone down or lean it up against something while I try to get this removed somehow, some way. I don't really remember how these things come off. Oh no, I broke it. No, I didn't. So here we're going to go ahead and remove the adapter, and this is the uh, SATA 2 Xbox adapter, which you can salvage if you need, um, or if not, then just get rid of it, but as soon as I get the damn thing out, it'll be great. And it's stuck. I really don't feel like slicing my hands open on the metal. Anyway, I can't get it out, but here's the uh, SATA to Xbox adapter, which you won't be needing, and here is your... Uh, SATA hard drive. This is a Hitachi uh, 20 gigabyte uh, 5400 RPM and it's just a standard laptop hard drive that you'd find in any other laptop that uses a mechanical drive. What you'll also need is one of these. This is from the uh, Seagate, I think, Seagate Barracuda GoFlex, I think it was from. Uh, it was just from an external hard drive uh, or if you have like an external hard drive dock, as long as you can physically fit it on there as so, it slips on, <clears throat> and you have your USB input, so if you want to find yourself a uh, correct USB as I knock my phone over, so you plug it up, and I'm going to have to splice over this video and uh, put the other segment in in the next few seconds, I have this hooked up to the computer, and I will show you guys what to do from there. So. Hope you guys are following along uh, so far, it's pretty easy. And you do want to try to keep this off the floor or off of anything that uh, causes static electricity. I mean, I've always put it on the floor before, but I've tried to do it upside down. I've never actually damaged the hard drive by doing this, even though it's very risky to do, because they are uh, pretty sensitive devices. But I will go ahead and splice over the video in about a second. Hey, what is up YouTube? Um, I apologize for having this in my previous video, um, for whatever reason this adapter does not work with this hard drive, uh, I'm suspecting because it's not powered, uh, it's just straight through the USB so it's only 5 volts. So I have another dock which is for my 1 terabyte uh, external hard drive and it takes the uh, line in uh, 12 volt DC with the power adapter and it's USB 3.0 and here's the Xbox hard drive, it's the same drive, nothing different. So when you first plug this up to your computer, it will not show under your uh, hard drive's uh, computer. So what you want to do is go ahead and go to your start menu and type in disk and go to uh, create and format hard disk partitions. And this little index uh, window will pop up and set it to, um, I believe it was uh, the... MBR? I'm not too sure. I'm going to try that for disk 2 and see if that works. I haven't done this in a long, 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 long time. 
so now it's online you see 18.63 online new simple volume and it's pretty much just like making a uh, partition for a uh, hard disk you want to have it format to NTFS if you're going to be using it on Windows um, use it for anything else you want to have it set to FAT32 and hit finish Now formatting. And it's now online. New volume F. And here's the Xbox hard drive, 18.6 gigabytes. And I just need it new volume F. So that's all you gotta do. That's that simple. It's just that easy. So if you have an old Xbox hard drive or you have an Xbox that's dead and you just want to use the hard drive out of it, depending on what size you have, you can use it for multiple things. You can also just take it and throw it into a laptop. As long as you have it formatted to NTFS, you can use it to install Windows. I don't really recommend doing it. They're not really very fast hard drives at all. But for storage and whatever else needs you would have for it, you can uh, just use it for that. So, and it's the same hard drive. Hitachi. 5400 RPM, 20 gigabyte. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and this guy, this video will also help uh, whoever is interested in running a uh, Xbox hard drive on Windows and how to do it. It's quite simple. So again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like the video, and subscribe and show support. Really appreciate it. Again, I hope this uh, video helps you guys, uh, whoever is wanting to do this. And thanks for watching.